welcome back. We continue our explanation of uh, the data mining algorithms. We continue our explanation in particular of classification algorithms and in particular the algorithms which are based on the covariance matrix. We finished explaining the linear discriminant analysis and in this video we start our explanation of the logistic regression. Now to understand logistic regression we need to be familiar with linear regression or uh, the idea of the best line fit or fit or the line or the line of best fit basically what we have is we have a variable or predictor or an independent variable here let's call it x for example here on the x axis and we have a dependent variable called y and now we we see these points here the blue points here are the corresponding values of y according to x so for example if x is 10 then maybe y can be let's say 8 or something if x is 20 then maybe y is um, 8.5 or something as you can see and what we do is we try to fit a straight line that best describes these points or that models these points and of course when we only when we only have one variable or one predictor x then that's linear regression if we have multiple um, variables like x1, x2, x3, x4 uh, we here just to have it in 2D so we can display it but if we have more than one x, more than one feature or predictor then that's called multiple linear regression and the idea here is to have a line you know you know the uh, uh, equation of a straight line y equals uh, a plus uh, ax plus b and we have the um, the slope and the intercept and what we do is once we have the equation of that line we compute the, di the, the, the distance between the actual point for example and the point on that line we find the difference and we uh, sum the squares of those differences and we try to minimize that sum of squared differences that's called the least squares approach to uh, linear regression anyway just you need to be familiar with this idea to be able to understand uh, logistic regression and I will have my explanation of linear regressions in uh, uh, the regression models now moving on to lo logistic regression logistic regression predicts the probability of an outcome that can have two values or dichotomy so the idea here is instead of ha uh, of predicting actual values as here if, if we have the model here we can say okay what's the value when x is 30 maybe the actual value is 9 and the, the value of the model when we apply that value plug it in into the equation of the line maybe it can be 9.2 or something yes so here we we predict real numbers which can be more than 1 and less than minus 1 and less than 0 maybe yes it can be negative uh, but the idea here is instead of predicting those values maybe it's better to predict probabilities of predictions rather than uh, values themselves and this is what logistic regression does and it's usually used to predict an outcome of only two values so it's binary classification yes or no true or false maybe is it going to rain tomorrow yes or no by the way today is the 10th of august 2014 here in london the uk you expect the sun to be out but we are going through this a uh, storm called Bertha I think and it's just raining quite heavily outside today it's been raining for about three days now the prediction is based on the use of several predictors as we mentioned before we can have one or more predictors and they can be numerical or categorical so no problem with the type of the variables a linear regression is not appropriate for predicting the value of a binary variable for two reasons the first reason is it does not predict uh, 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 probabilities because probabilities usually are between 0 and 1 and in linear regression as we mentioned we predict real values which can be any value really and the second reason is because uh, uh, we have these dichotomous experiments dichotomy means either one or one of two either true or false black or white one or zero or one or minus one male or female so we only have two non-overlapping uh, groups so since the dichotomous experiments 
can only have one or two one of two possible values for each experiment the residuals will not be normally distributed about the predicted line so the residuals are the error as we mentioned errors as we mentioned we have the real point and the predicted point and we compute the difference and that's called the residual error right now moving on logistic regression produces a logis logistic curve which is limited uh, uh, to value between 0 and 1 as you can see in this uh, uh, di diagram here it's this S shaped uh, yellowish or, or, or brownish maybe light brownish uh, 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 curve S shaped and the values are always between 0 and 1 so it is actually similar to linear regression but the curve is constructed using the natural logarithm of the odds of the target variable the target variable is our y variable the one we're trying to guess so instead of the probability now we use the natural logarithms of the odds of the target variable rather than the probability moreover the predictors now or our uh, uh, variables in you know, the x's now our features do not have to be normally distributed or have equal va variance in each group notice now now the blue line now is the linear model the one we saw before and the equation usually is y equals b0 plus b1x so we, you know we here we have the intercept and the the, the slope yeah um, and in our logistic model which is this curve the s shaped curve p equals 1 over 1 plus e to the power uh, minus b0 plus b1x again the intercept and the slope we have them here but it's in the natural logarithms of the odds of the target variable the target variable now is y uh, and you notice that the curve will always be between 1 and 0 so it goes like that to towards minus infinity in the x but it will it, the y value won't be less than 0 and here it goes towards the positive infinity of the x variable but the y will always be uh, uh, less than or equal 1 so larger than equal 0 less than equal 1 now in in logistic regression the constant b0 moves the curve left and right so the b0 the b0 i hope you can see this it moves the curve left or right to the to the left or to the right whereas uh, uh, the slope which is b1 defines the steepness of the curve so the slope which is b1 defines the steepness how steep this is similar to in regression this is intercept which is the y value and uh, when x is 0 that's the intercept and b1 is the slope so how steep is the line for the curve here the b0 now instead of uh, having as intercept it, yeah, it just it just it is intercept in a way because it judges whether you know where 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 this line is either to the left or to the right and the b1 is just judging how steep this uh, 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 this part of the curve is by simple transformation the logistic regression equation can be written in terms of an odds ratio so p equals 1 over p p is a, a property is uh, uh, e to power b0 plus b1x finally taking the natural log on of both sides of both sides we can write the equation in terms of the log odds or the logit which is a linear function of the predictor so we take the ln the natural logarithm of both sides and ln uh, cancels the exponent here so we end up with natural logarithm of p over sorry natural logarithm of p over 1 minus p equals b0 plus b1x the coefficient b1 now is the amount the logit or the log odds changes with one unit change in x this is called the logit transform now as we mentioned before logistic regression can handle any number of numerical or categorical variables so instead of having one x we can have b1 x1 you know this is the same equation as we saw here for for the curve yes but instead of having just one x now just one variable we can have multiple variables and the equation becomes p equals 1 over 1 plus e to, uh, e to power minus b0 plus b1 x1 b2 x2 until bpxp or bnxn the number of uh, uh, independent variables that we have now between linear regression and logistic regression 
There are several analogies between the two. Just as ordinary least square regression, that's how we evaluate, uh, that's how we determine uh, the best line for to fit the points in linear regression. The methods called that's one of the methods called least, least square, and the ordinary least square regression is the best is the best method used to estimate coefficients for the best fit line in linear regression. The coefficients are b0, b1, and so on and so forth. Logistic regression uses maximum likelihood estimation, the MLE, to obtain the model coefficients that relate predictors to the target, because we, we're using probabilities now. After this initial function is estimated, after we have the MLE, the process is repeated, so we repeat it until the log likelihood, or the LL, does not change significantly. Unless now we have these uh, uh, vectors of, of coefficients or parameters, beta 1 equals beta 0, so the previous sort of uh, 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 vector of coefficients, plus x transpose, so x now is our vector of, uh, of uh, our input variables, which is the features, times w, which is another matrix, we'll come to that, times x, the actual vector itself, and all, we compute the inverse of the resulting matrix, and then we multiply that by x transpose again, times y minus mu. y now is the uh, uh, the predicted variable or the uh, dependent variable. Beta is a vector of logistic regression coefficients. W is a square matrix of order n with elements ni pi i, ni times pi i times 1 minus pi i on the diagonal and 0 everywhere else. So W here is a square matrix and the values on the diagonal are ni times pi i times 1 minus pi i. Mu is a vector of length n. The number of n, I think here the number is the number of uh, of uh, 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 independent variable. I'm sorry, that's my phone. With length n with elements mu i equals n i times pi i. So mu again, mu again is a vector of length n. Moving on to uh, 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 pseudo r squared or I'll tell you what I'm going to stop here I'll explain this in my next video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time stay tuned please